Hi, we are Entre Tramites, and as a digital platform, we're here to help you with the daily bureaucratic procedures and to provide you with important information. Important. The income tax returns involves many variables that will depend on each particular person, and it must be taken into account. If we sum submit an erroneous draft, we could suffer a subsequent sanction. Here on Intertramites, we always recommend doing this procedure with the advice of an expert on the subject to avoid any subsequent sanction by the public administration. Remember that this is an informative video, so we are not responsible for any incident that can be presented on your income tax returns. If you need more information, don't hesitate in contacting us. I'll leave the link in the description. This video is to clarify how to file income tax returns or EIRPF from previous years step by step. So you can do it online from your computer on your own home. Remember that in this example, we are going to do it with the clave system. If you don't have it, you can find a video in our channel on how to request it. You can find some information in our web page so you can guide it and do it like that. To start with this procedure, you must go to the Agencia Tributaria's Electronic Headquarters. So you just click on the link that I'm going to put above. And once we are in the web page, we're going to click on the option that says Impuestos y Tasas. And then click on Impuestos sobre la Renta de Personas Físicas. Then just click on the option that says Modelo 100. Now, in the beginning, you are going to see some options as well. But we are going to go until almost at the bottom from the previous years. So in this case, we will do it for the year 2018. So just click the year and then click on the Servicio de Tramitación de Borrador Declaración Renta Web 2018. Now we must enter our DNI or NIE, DNI or NIE, and a support number. Remember that if you have a TIE, this is going to be your support number or this in case you have a residence permit. And also if you have a CUE, this is the support number. So once you have filled all the data, you click on continue. In this case, we are going to do this procedure, as I told you at the beginning, with the clave pin system. So you just click on identificación con clave. On this new page, we click on obtener pin. If you have already activated the Cloud Pin app, you'll get the three-digit code through your mobile phone in a message like this. Remember that if you don't, you can wait for a few minutes and you'll have the option to receive the PIN code through a message. So once we enter the PIN, we click on Acceder. Then it would lead us to another page where we will click on the option that says Borrador Declaración Renta Web. There you can see it. So you just click there and we can start filling our data. We must verify all the information and remember that if you have any deductions to do, you must click on Continuar con la Declaración, that it's the first tab that you can see over there. Then we start filling our data. The system will guide you for putting the data regarding your family, investments, contract, and well, so many others, just in case you have any deductions. So you just have to follow the instructions. So once you have verified the data, you just click on Presentar la Declaración, that it's the option that you can see there. We might see a communication that shows us some errors, notices, or things that we can change the way that the system has already detected. For example, here we can see an example of those regarding the quality of the domicile, if it's owned or rented. This is like an example of uh, some mistakes that you can see. Of course, if it's owned, you must put the catastrophe reference that you can see it over there. 
And if you don't know how to check that preference, you can check in our channel for another video to just like feel all, all those data. Remember that you have to check it like really good. You have to verify and then you just confirm and accept. Finally, you just click on Presentar Declaración and we, was, we must put here the E1 code and the bank account where you prefer to receive the deductions or for all the procedures of the agencia, if you want to keep this bank account or for all those uh, like procedures, you can do it as well. And you just click on accept and continue and confirm once again. You just have to sign and we will see a communication informing us that the presentation has been done successfully and this is the verification code for any consultation about our procedure. We can also save the PDF document of the registry. You can download it to your computer so you can have it. I suggest you do this because it's like more short and you just can't exit the platform and that's it. For more information, do not forget to check our website and social media. I'll leave you the link in the description box and if you want to be updated on how to do your day-to-day -day procedures and paperwork, do not forget to subscribe to our channel.